Hello guys, my name is Abhishek and in today's video I am going to show you my genome setup. So I use the Fedora operating system as my daily driver. Here you can see that I have installed Fedora and I use the genome 3.38 shell. So first of all I use the arc menu extension here you can see that I use the arc menu uh, I'll just show you my settings so first of all I use the default arc menu, arc menu tweaks so in which I use the frequent apps by default it comes with the pinhead apps so i use frequent apps because genome 3.38 removes the frequent tab icons from their app launcher so search bar is on the top and the flip i i use the these panels on the left by default it comes at the right and the frequent tab so basically I flip the arc menu so that's all for arc menu then I use the extensions let me open my tweaks so first of all here is yeah uh, I use the uh, comp is a like magic lamp effect that means you can see here it's like uh, mac os and it looks nice on any desktop any genome desktop so it is better than the default maximize and minimize animations so i use this and i like this extension so next is the comp is a like window effect this is magic lamp effect and now is the window effect so basically what window effect is i'll just show you and by the way i use the default setting for the comp is a like magic lamp effect i use the all the default settings you can see here i use the default settings here the next is windows alike effect so this is basically the window like effect you can see here the window is comp is alike you can see the animation and it looks really nice on this desktop but I tweaked it a little you can see here I have removed the maximize effect enable option is disabled now resize effect is disabled now so I disable these two options just because of I don't like this resize effect it just uh, creates a buggy type of way you can see here it doesn't look nice that's why I removed it and also the maximize effect is also not good enough so I here you can see that the basically the default maximize minimize are okay for me it doesn't look nice so that's why I just removed these two options disable these two options the next extension is the control flow alt tab so I use the alt tab extension you can see here this is my alt tab extension I have tweaked it a little uh, you can see that I have just uh, slower the animation you can see here I have slower the animations so the animation look 
very really nice in this you can basically choose any window you want so that's the comp uh, control flow alt tab cover flow alt tab sorry next extension is the floating dock extension so floating dock extension is really nice extension it is a fork of dash to dock extension in which you can uh, move a window give a margin to the window you can see here this is basically you can uh, take it upwards I just make it to the default 4 and you can also change the roundness of the curves of the dash to dock extension so by default it is 10 you can see here the corners are rounded now you can see here corners are rounded so let me go to my default setup so this is my all my extensions these are all my extensions then next up is the shell theme so you can see here my I use the Mac OS 3D shell theme which is actually nice and it is created by me you can use it on your desktop it has a light variant and the dark variant also you can see here the light version of the X theme let me go to my default dark mode and it really look nice to me so the next is the icon theme I use Big Sur icon theme you can see here Big Sur original icon theme it is also created by me it, the icons are very good in this icon pack I have used high quality PNGs for that so it looks nice in higher resolution also the next is the gtk theme i use mac os 3d gtk theme you can see right here i'll just show you the light version light version is also looks nice you can see right here so this is the light version and the one i'm currently using is the dark version so basically this is my setup so thanks for watching guys see you in the next one thank you